Recently, I went on a skiing trip to Austria and I bought a GoPro 13 to capture all the fun and falls, as it was my second ever time trying mountain skiing. I noticed that the GoPro can shoot log, so that's of course what I opted for. And later when reviewing the footage in Resolve, I realized that, uh, well, Resolve doesn't support GP log out of the box. And reality is, this isn't the only log encoding that Resolve doesn't support, but why? Well, I've figured out two possible reasons. A, the log encoding is just so new that Blackmagic hasn't had time to implement it. This was, for example, the case for RE Log C4 right after RE released the Alexa 35. Or B, the camera manufacturer hasn't released the specs for the log curve, which are typically released as a PDF white paper. Why some haven't done that? Well, we can only speculate. In the case that Blackmagic hasn't had time to implement the log curve, but a white paper exists, I or any other competent digital developer can just take the equations from the white paper and create a custom IDT in the form of a DCTL. Unfortunately for me, GoPro hasn't released a white paper for GP log. At this point, most colorists would just give up and either treat the footage as Rec. 709 or try and find a close enough log curve from some other camera. Thing is, I don't think that's a good idea because the whole point of using color management is to be precise. So I asked my good friend Thatcher Freeman for help. Thing is, he has developed a script for finding log curves. Essentially, there's only a few overall formulas being used for camera log curves. So with an informed guess of which one, all that is left to do is find the correct parameters to put into the formula. And for that, the script that Thatcher made uses a gradient descent algorithm to essentially try different values until it finds ones with a sufficiently small error resulting in a close enough match to the camera's log curve where we can actually use it in our color managed pipeline. And as is the case with any other camera, this one also needs a three by three matrix to make the colors look correct. We did that by shooting a color checker under daylight and tungsten, and then fed those to, of course, another one of Thatcher's scripts. What the whole process gave us is a DCTL that acts as an IDT for this GoPro and outputs DaVinci White Gamut Intermediate. So all that is left to do now is to place that DCTL where we would usually have a color space transform at the beginning of our new tree and great as usual. If you're not familiar with how I like to color manage, you can check this video out to catch up. And on Thatcher's GitHub, linked in the doobly-doo, you will find many other IDTs as well for other cameras not natively supported by Resolve. For example, DJI drones. Yes, the vast majority of them officially have D log M, but in practice, every single one of those has it implemented slightly differently. So Thatcher has taken the time to profile them and create custom IDTs. But that's it from me. I'm Gaur. See you next time.